Hey everybody, how you doing out there? Yours truly. I just want to say for a lot of uh, a lot of videos I've been putting out, my dear friend of Thunder Naps, uh, you're kind of wondering people why I'm putting my best friend of 31 years or 32, whatever, give or take, or a few years. Um, you're wondering why I'm putting videos about him. Um, there's, there's reason why I'm putting videos out for him. Um, I'm trying to answer the questions for you guys out there. Reason why I'm putting his videos, uh, uh, why I put in his title in my videos, because I was a dear friend of his for quite a while, for 31 years, for 30 flipping one years. Now, of those 31 years, they didn't have YouTube back in the day, back in the early 80s. They didn't have YouTube, they didn't have Twitter, they didn't have Facebook, they didn't have any of this stuff we have today, like our social media uh, stats, or what do they call it? Social media status. I guess they call it social media status. Anyway, I have some social media presence on YouTube. Uh, greatly so. But uh, there's a reason why I'm putting a lot of videos about Thunder Nabs. Because I, for one, I miss him. Because he passed away in 2018 at a young age of 45. That's right, at age 45, folks. A young man. Everybody calls, when people are at that age, they're young men. They're young Young man. Okay, young man, young man. Okay. Anyway, the age don't make a difference. It's, it, uh, my friend once said, age is just a number. Well, it really is. But to me, it's something. Um, I want to go with something in my life. So, not, uh, age number means something to someone. And uh, whether it be uh, if you're 18 years old to 12 years old to 80 years old to 90 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old, it doesn't matter. The age does matter, folks. The age does matter. It affects all of us. And uh, they always say age is just not a, uh, it's just a number. Well, I'm going to correct everybody. Age is something. Age will tell you everything about a person. Okay, so, like, it's, like I used to do back in the day, like, voice. When I hear people's voices... I can determine if it's a kid's voice or an adult's voice. A kid's voice will sound like a kid voice. Adult will sound like an adult voice. It's no two ways about it. Um, I used to do that a long time ago. I don't, I don't do it very much nowadays. But uh, sometimes I used to uh, hear people's voice and determine if it was a kid or an adult's voice. And uh, I don't do that very much, but... The reason why I'm putting my best friend of Thunder Dabs, that's what he wants to be called uh, in life and then the afterlife. He wants to be called Thunder Dabs. Uh, I didn't call him that. Uh, it's just, I didn't uh, title that for him. He wants to be called that. Uh, he wants to be called Thunder Dabs. He doesn't want to be called by his r real name, his real birth name. So, basically, we're going to call him Thunder Dabs. Uh, it identifies him as... Thunder naps. Okay, we'll call him. We'll call him as such. Uh, so yeah, he's called Thunder Nabs, and that's his YouTube channel. No longer using that YouTube channel because it's passing, but he still has videos up there uh, for a, a, to eternity, just like himself to eternity. And unless YouTube starts um, uh, starts not being there anymore, but we'll keep putting videos up there until not. Because uh, I've been friends with him for 30, 32 years. That's a long time for any friendship. This is a, a serious friendship. This is not like a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. This is just friendship. Solid friendship. And uh, to have a solid friend, it's quite unique. They would call it unique. That's the word they would use. Unique. Because um, you rarely get friends in this day and age, you know. Few and far between, as they would say. Uh, but yeah, he was a dear friend of mine, and we start being friendship around 86, 87. So that was 1980s. That was sometime around 1980s of 86 to 87. And we started our friendship that point on. Um, and it flourished. We're just, we're just guys. We're not, you know, he's not my girlfriend. He's just a friend that I know. And uh, he's not my girlfriend that... Uh, that I want to date. Uh, trust me, uh, he's not my girlfriend. He's just a guy friend. It's just a guy friend, okay? We all have... It's like women have women friends. It's like guys have guy friends. We can all do that. It doesn't mean we're gay, okay?
okay? It doesn't mean we're gay or straight. Uh, <laughs> if you're gay, that's great. I, I, I applaud you. Uh, but uh, we all have women friends or guy friends. And it doesn't mean we marry them into them. It doesn't mean at all. It doesn't mean at all. It just means friendship. The word friendship. Just underline friendship. Uh, it can mean, uh, you know, just be with your best friend. Just be with your best friend for anywhere, anywhere on this planet. Uh, it can mean that. That's the word I would use is friendship. Uh, it's just solid friendship. A solid friendship that you want to have in your. It's like a. I'll give you a better example. It's like having a brother you you, you want to have in the family and you couldn't have. It's sort of like that, but um, you want a brother you can appreciate. The other nouns was my, essentially, I said a long time ago in the early 90s, I said, uh, he's kind of like my famous friend that I want to be with. Um, and I'm glad, to, I'm glad to be his friend, because he's a very famous friend, and I was just glad to be in his, uh, in his life. And uh, I took him under the wings as friends, as friends. Remember, this underlying friendship, this underlying friendship. It's just a solid friendship. It's just the way it is. It's not uh, be all and end all. Uh, it's just friendship. It's not like he's my girlfriend or anything. He's my friend, and uh, friends are good to have. In in sort of, uh, it keeps you straight and narrow with friends. Uh, women can have women friends. Guys can have guy friends. And it doesn't matter if you're straight or gay. <laughs> you can laugh about that out there, folks. But it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. Uh, a friendship is just friendship. It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. Um, and I'm not leaving that for anybody. Um, friendship is friendship. And so I want to put this out, and that's why I've been putting videos out there. It was a huge loss. It was definitely a huge loss for me, if you're asking me. A huge loss. It was quite, quite a sad day to lose my best friend of 30, 32 years uh, of being friends with him, and uh, and it was a, it was like that circle of friends that you want to have in your life, a circle of friends that know you best, that know you, you know, just by name to uh, know what you do, what you do in your career or life whatever lifestyle you want to get into. And it doesn't matter if you're a famous person like uh, a rock singer, it doesn't matter if you're a rock singer, a movie star, we're all, we're all in this together. We're all in this one world earning a living. Essentially, whatever living we're living in. And uh, I want to I base my life out of just being doing YouTube videos the rest of my life. I, this is like my job. This is like the only job I have, basically. If someone were to pay me, yeah, I'll be doing more videos and more production videos. But uh, <laughs> but this is this is essentially my only job. Um, and people say, do you get paid for doing YouTube videos? You don't get very much paid on YouTube videos. Popper to the popper to the belief. Um, I like doing it. It's a hobby of mine. So it's like a hobby. It's like a hobby for anybody. It's a hobby. And I'll be doing it for the rest of my... Uh, for the rest of my years, and uh, unless unless someone comes along and says, "Hey, I want to pay you to put production videos up there on your own videos and make it go better than you already are," and um, I'm still waiting for those kind of people. But until then, I'll be doing videos out there and giving you the best videos that I can produce out there. And um, I just like I just like to uh, put out there the greatest videos that I can do. I know I haven't been following the uh, the formula like other YouTubers have uh, in the past, but um, I've been dripped away. It's, there's due to many reasons uh, to a lot of YouTubers who maybe have dripped off of YouTube qu for quite a while. Uh, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of drifting away like a plebeian, as they would say. Uh, but not so much. Not more so much. I did change my title on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a better title than I had it before. Um, my vlog channel is going to be there forever and ever, ever, forever and ever, to eternity, just when I pass away, to eternity. So, this vi this vlog video of mine is going to be there forever and ever, just the way, that's the way it's related. Um, I'll keep doing videos unless someone comes along and says, hey, I want to pay you for doing your uh, production, your videos and stuff, and so on and so forth. 
um, or someone wants to become a, a, a cameraman, that's okay. If you want to be a cameraman, well, as they say, join. Join my club. If you want to be a photographer, if you want to be a cameraman, you can. Uh, I'm not, um, I'll be hiring in the sooner or later for a, uh, for a cameraman. Just like the Juggernugger guy. He, hi he hires the best camera people out there. And I don't know how he does it, but uh, he does. He hires people to do his camera work. Not his bidding. It's not, there's no such thing as bidding. It just he hires on the camera person and films him doing his vlogs. And, uh, which is a great idea. A really good idea. It takes out the guesswork kind of thing. Uh, he gets someone else to hold the camera and film it. Just film you being you. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that would be beautiful. That would be very beautiful. And I can uh, express my feelings to everybody out there on YouTube. Uh, when I think about the world today. And uh, way is uh, CERN and uh, NASA is doing these days. I can give you insights about what CERN is doing in Maryland, Switzerland. Um, give you all these insights and Christmas uh, stuff and all sorts of stuff. And I, I just want to say that this is kind of a story to my lead-in. Uh, this is like a, I'm cutting a promo. It's like in wrestling, they cut a promo. I'm cutting a promo here, folks. So, what I want to do is I'll be cutting a promo sooner or later. <laughs> Rightly so. So I'm going to cut a promo for the best friend ever in my world, long gone. May you rest in peace, Thunder Nabs. May you rest in peace forever and ever to eternity. And um, and this is some dearly, it's almost close to three, uh, three years, coming up to three years of his passing. And uh, I miss him a lot. I miss him a lot. And uh, if anyone, if anybody in the, when I pass away, I hope people will listen to my videos on YouTube. And I hope YouTube is not going away in the dodo bird. Um, I want people to understand what I'm saying here, folks. Thunder Nas was my only friend I got in this world. Um, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be learning what half the stuff I had today. Uh, I wouldn't be doing YouTube videos. I wouldn't, you know, I wish I had taught him how to do YouTube videos. And uh, I learned off, uh, basically I kind of learned off other YouTubers. And uh, to get my YouTube channel going. And as far as YouTube is concerned, they would say, I'm still moldy on on uh, to what I'm doing. And um, there was a time in my world, there was the Shade Tarts, there was the Toby Turners of the world. There is I Justine. You people might have heard about her. Um, she's on YouTube. She doesn't do too many YouTube videos, as far as I know. Uh, maybe off and on, but uh, I do see her videos pretty, pretty periodically. But not as much as she did back in the day, when YouTube was just getting going, uh, in terms of YouTuber users. And, um, and uh, I learned a lot along the way. And uh, no question about it, I've learned how they do their style of YouTube videos. And uh, this day and age, I don't really care if I do production videos or not. It doesn't weigh me when I own it. Uh, I just put out videos that I want to put out and what I want to say. And basically that, essentially. I don't follow them, I, I kind of follow my own. I try to kind of veer away from the uh, YouTubers a lot. A lot, a very much a lot. I, I got my own formula of what I what I put out, what kind of videos I put out, and that's what I do. And if you were asking me that, that's what I do. My own formula, my own videos, what I, what I title them, and what I say out there. And uh, it's just what it is. It is what it is kind of thing. Uh, so I just put out the videos that I want to put out, essentially. That I title them, the videos I want to put out, and if it's... Uh, if I want to say what I want to say, if I want to put a vlog video, I can even put a, um, a cooking show. People put, try to put a cooking show together on a YouTube channel. Uh, that's not easy. That's not easy to put a cooking show and have a YouTube channel going. You need to have consist, uh, consistency. But, uh, yeah. So, folks, I just do what I do best, and uh, everybody appreciates my videos. Uh, I think it doesn't matter if they listen to my videos, see my videos, or hear about them, that's okay. Uh, I just do what I do best. I don't follow anybody else's formula. I follow my own. Um, I try to do uh, things that 
what worked best on my videos and try to make the sound really good. Try to make as humorous as possible. And um, I try to think of things that I want to put on my YouTube channel. And this is just my uh, routine. I go into a routine of YouTube videos. And I just up, keep putting them out until YouTube no longer there anymore. Uh, not my channel, but the entire YouTube community uh, no longer there anymore. But I'll still be doing videos the rest of my life until I pass away. Um, and they always say YouTube is, they create content, and that's what we're doing. We're creating content forever and ever. Forever and ever. So this is my vlog channel, forever and ever. And that's why I want to keep it that way. Forever and ever, or eternity. And just like, the, uh, just like the wrestling world, forever. And that's what I want to call my channel, forever. And uh, that's what it's going to be called. So uh, you may have seen my new title of my YouTube channel. Uh, it is what it is. And I'm going to keep that title for, a very, for quite a while, at least for quite a while. And um, you guys will appreciate it for quite a while. But I'm going to keep this channel forever and ever to eternity. That's what it means. Forever and ever to eternity. Uh, to no longer be around this world. And maybe, maybe, if I pass away, you people will be starting listening to my videos in the afterlife. When I'm long gone in the afterlife, you people will be listening to my videos and you'll think, maybe we should take, uh, maybe we should take a listen to them and see what, what we say. But, uh, don't always take my word for it. But this, this, this is like a routine for me, just to do, put videos out there that I want to put out, not what other YouTubers, that I listen to other YouTubers for. I used to do that, I used to sway it to their way, now it's my turn to do it my way. Um, it's not like the uh, Malaway or Highway Theory. It's just the videos that I want to put out that seem pretty good to put out. And uh, I'll, I'll, oh, it ranges with the different topics. You know, range different topics to a different uh, lifestyle. It doesn't have to be one or the other. People like to do uh, police videos or cop videos. That's, that's great. That's their YouTube channels. But for me, I just do uh, random, random videos, random topics that I appreciate, that I will appreciate in the near distant future. And uh, some of them I'll keep, and some of them I'll delete. And uh, yeah, so bear that in mind, folks. It's just, just it's, I'm going to get and try and get into a routine of doing YouTube videos. My routine, I love it the way it is. So I'm going to get in a routine to do YouTube videos. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, folks. I'll be here for the rest of my life. And YouTube channel will be here the rest of my life. I got a new title for my YouTube channel. And you guys will have to look for it. Um, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep the guessing game going on. And uh, so I retitled my YouTube channel, you might have noticed. Um, so I just retitled my YouTube channel. That's all I did. Retitled my YouTube channel. And I like it so far. So if you guys were wondering... If I'm going to keep that title, yes, I'm going to keep that uh, my YouTube channel uh, name. So I'm going to will keep that for quite a while. Um, I like it; it sounds great. I love it. Uh, I'm going to keep it the way it is. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So folks, I'm going to keep doing what I do best. I'm going to uh, put out the videos that I want to put out, not what other YouTubers want to be put out. Put out what kind of videos they want to put out. I'm going to get in a, into a routine of putting videos out there that I want to put out. Not, I try not to listen to other YouTubers. I try and do my own videos. So it's a balance. If they call it the balance of videos that I put out. Uh, either put videos that other YouTubers put out. I'll put videos that I want to put out. And I'll try and uh, I'll put out titles that they have on mine. And uh, I'll just retitle them. I'll keep retitling these videos. Until I get them perfectly, and sometimes I'll go back and retitle them, and uh, and that's what I'll do. That's what I do with my videos. So I'm gonna get in a routine. I don't listen to other YouTubers. I kind of do. It. I'm gonna get into a routine sort of way. So I'll get in my routine of doing my own YouTube videos. I always, a long time ago, I would have followed YouTubers uh, videos and try to get a production video going, but it's really hard to do a production video. It really is. It really truly is. YouTubers been doing it for a long time. The Shaytar's been doing it for a long time. Uh, Toby Turner's been doing it for a long time. Justine's of the world been doing it for a long time. So they've been changed. They changed their YouTube for quite a bit. Um, so much so 
that I want to get in a routine. I never, I never, for quite a while, I just kind of stepped back on their own YouTube videos and kind of went to other people's YouTube uh, videos because not it's not always the Justines of the world or the Shaytards of the world that we have to look at their videos all the time. It's not always all the time. We have to fall into somebody else's YouTube channel because there's many. There's new subscribers, new users every single day on YouTube. Just trying to get their YouTube channels getting going out there. I've been on this platform for many, many, many years ago. Many years ago, uh, around, I would say, 2005. So I came a long way since 2005. Here we are in 2021. So it's been a long journey for me. It's been a long journey for everybody. And... Uh, like I said, it's been a long journey for all of us on YouTube, and uh, and that's what I put the videos out for. I put out videos that I want to put out, not your videos out there. But I do, I do look at my subscribers that I subscribe to and to see what their videos are like, and try to not not to get any ideas, but just trying to comment on their videos, not my videos that I want to put out. It gets it gets very confused if I start putting their videos up where my videos should be like. And it's like a tug of war. It's like a tug of war on YouTube videos. Um, whoever puts out the best, you know, YouTube channel or YouTube videos out there. We're not, it's not a competition. It's not a sprint or it's not a, they call it, usually in the world today, they don't call it like a sprint or a, or a challenge. It's just, we're doing, we're going to get into a routine where we keep putting YouTube videos out there until someone really appreciates my videos. Until then, I'm going to keep doing that. And uh, I'll put the right titles out there, the right thumbnail videos out there. I try to do, I try to change it up a bit sometimes. I really do. So, yeah. So, there you go, folks. And uh, the first ever Thunderdabs Canadian full movie trailer. I put out a full movie trailer of my best friend. I try to do that. I really did. I made it out to be a full movie. Yes, I try to make them for the first time. First time ever, Thunder Nav's full full movie trailer. I put out a full movie trailer of my best friend, and I really did the full brunt of it. Uh, it's kind of like a mini movie. They call it the mini movie, and uh, and I did. I really did. It's all thanks to you guys out there. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing that. So we'll try. We're trying to do an EVP session, EVP recording. Uh, we'll do uh, spirit communication of my dear friend. Uh, we'll use a uh, voice box or a spirit box, as the people would say. And we're trying to communicate to my dear friend of Thunder Nabs, who's in the afterlife. Uh, we're trying to communicate his spirit of himself. Uh, it'll be like his, his voice. Remember, soul never dies. The soul never dies, your body does, but your soul never dies. And everybody believes that theory, and I believe that theory myself. Uh, so we're going to try and communicate to my dear friend, Thunder Nabs, using an EVP, that's voice phenomenal. And they, they do the short form of that. Voice phenomenal, uh, you guys probably know what that means. It's a voice phenomenal recording of his voice. This, it's kind of like a disembodied voice in the afterlife. Um... But yeah, um, it's not calling it all different spirits. It's calling one spirit called Thunder Nabs, my dear friend of Thunder Nabs. And it's really hard to call on my friend in the afterlife if you don't have the right devices for it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do what we do best. And uh, that's why I've been doing a lot of Thunder Nabs videos. He wants to be called that for quite a while. And I kind of like it myself. Um, but yeah, he was my friend for 31 years, uh, ever since the YouTube, the advent of YouTube, essentially. Uh, so, there you go, folks. So this will be just a video about me and my dear friend, Thunder Nabs, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listen to what I have to say. But we're just doing videos out there. I'm not creating, uh, any, um, angst to any YouTubers out there. I'm just doing my own. And I want to get into a routine where I put videos out there of my own choosing, of my own titles, my subtitles, and make them sound really good if I can try. But that's all I'm trying to do, folks. I'm just turning out videos that I like to put out, not other people's videos. But there you go, folks. 
I'm going to keep it real. Just keep it real, as, as Holdies would say. Keep it real. Yep, I'm keeping it real. Uh, this is what this is what I do. My routine. Keep it real, as they would say. The gangster people would say. Keep it real. <laughs> so I'm trying to do my best to keep it real. And uh, yeah, so I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of circle of friends. And one of them was Thunder Naps. There you go, folks. That's keeping it real. Um, and, uh, yeah, for 31 years, he was my dear friend. And it was only a friendship. It wasn't anything else. It's a friendship to everybody's knowledge. And um, and I want to keep it that way. It's a, it was a strong bond, if you were wondering. It was a strong bond of a friendship. And uh, I couldn't have anything else. And uh, But he's just... He's long gone now for three years ago. And it really, really, um, it really bothers me sometimes that he's not around anymore. And here we are on Sunday. Can you believe we're on a Sunday today? It's right at 3 o'clock and, man, he would have been here today. But since his past and that's not going to happen, folks. Um, I miss him dearly, if you're wondering about that, folks. Um, I miss him dearly. And uh, he was the greatest friend I could ever have, uh, with no question about it. Uh, the friendship was great, and that was that was it, and that was all, and essentially it. Uh, just a friendship. He was my, he wasn't my girlfriend or anything. He was just a friend, you know. Like guys have friends, women have friends. It's, it's like that. So it's not. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight, or just a friendship relationship. Uh, and I like it. I like it that way. And uh, I don't have to explain to you people out there for a thousand times. You guys will get it. And uh, and that's what I want to iterate here, out here. And um, see, it's like women have women friends. Guys have guy friends. And it should be... Uh, sometimes it should be like that. And uh, the friendship... The longer friendship stays, the more friends you might have. Uh, and the friends are good. They keep you straight and narrow. And they always be there to the to the bitter end. Your friends will be there to the bitter end in your lifespan. Um, so go out there, make some new friends, do what you have to do, and keep the friendship. Keep that circle of friends. I, it's like it's like it's like Google Hangouts. Have a circle of friends. Have your circle of friends that you appreciate, uh, that know you better, that know you best, essentially, and. Uh, Keep doing out the videos that you want to put out, not what other people tell you to, what kind of videos that you want to put out. Just put out the videos that you come to appreciate, that you want to see yourself on you, on your own YouTube channels. And that's what the recommendation I can give to you guys out there. Just put out the videos that you want to put out on your own YouTube channels. You're the people out there that have your YouTube channels. Put out the videos that you come to appreciate, that you want to see in the near distant future. And... Um, this, um, this strive, strive to be the best, be a motivator to everybody. The word I would use, be a motivator to everybody. Be a motivator. Just write it down, be a motivator to everybody. Be motivated to what you do. Uh, you know, you're the biggest motivator out there that that tells everybody, hey, you're good enough to be on YouTube. You're, you, you, you can stay on this platform uh, that we have here for you. Uh, you can uh, you can be with us. We can be with us. You, you're good to be on YouTube. Uh, so you're one of us, as they would say. You're one of us. So if you're ever on YouTube, folks out there, you're one of us. And that's what I want to iterate that. Uh, you're one of us. Once you're on YouTube, you're one of us. You're you're part of a community of YouTubers out there. Uh, and that's what I want to think about that. That's you're a part of that YouTube community. That's what I, I want to think of as such. You're part of that family on YouTube. It doesn't matter what topics you throw out there. It doesn't matter what you do in life. Uh, if you're a photographer, you want to do the first minute, uh, first minute audits uh, to uh, your own YouTube channel. If you want to do a routine video, that's great. If you want to do a cooking show, that's great. I love seeing people do cooking shows. It's rarely seen sometimes with cooking shows. And uh, I like to see that more often on, on their own YouTube channels. And... Um, just uh, create the, uh, the YouTube channel that you want to create, that you want to be proud of. It's what you call what you want to be proud of in your own career. And uh, I emphasize that to a lot of people. You know, just very much, very much. 
So this is my story of myself, my life story. I call it the life story. And uh, create, create those videos that people appreciate, that appreciate from you and you get uh, that you get appreciated about. Don't follow any other people's YouTube channels, just follow your own. Create your own YouTube channel that you want to create. Have your own videos up there and people appreciate for your videos. And um, that's all the recommendation I can give you guys out there. So if you're starting off a YouTube channel, just remember, uh, the first recommendation I would give is make videos that you come to appreciate. Videos that you appreciate yourself. And you want to put out there on your YouTube channels. Uh, and people will come to appreciate your videos. Uh, I've said many times on YouTubers, I appreciate what they do out there. I really do, time and time again. Uh, and I like it. I like the way they're taking their YouTube channels to whatever they need to take their YouTube channels. And it runs by different topics, different situations. And uh, it doesn't matter if you are you don't know what to say or do or... We're all learning. We're all learning. We're all uh, people learning. We all learn what we need to say, what we need to do, and what we need to put out there on YouTube videos. And uh, it's a common misconception. And um, just put out the videos that people would appreciate, your, your own YouTube channel, that you appreciate yourself. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a great equalizer, as they would say. It's a great equalizer. And... Uh, People will come and appreciate it. They'll even tell you how great your YouTube channel is. So, and you might learn something. I've learned uh, from other YouTubers. So, take it from me. I've learned from other YouTubers. And uh, it worked out well for me. It really did. But now I want to switch it back to me. I kind of want to switch everything that I know from other YouTubers back to me. I want to just do videos that I come to appreciate. Myself, my own self. And uh, that's what I'll do. You know, I'll keep doing that. It'll be a routine for me, essentially, from here on out, a routine. And it doesn't matter if you guys don't like it or not. I'm going to keep putting videos out there. Just keep pushing what you're doing. And I keep pushing the narrative, essentially. And uh, people come to appreciate that. So, yeah, this is what I'm trying to say in a good way for you people. So, when people get started with their YouTube channel... How's one get started with their YouTube channel? I get a lot of recommendations for a lot of people if they want to ask me that. Um, just do what you come to appreciate. What videos that you want to put out that you come to appreciate of your own. And uh, just do videos that you appreciate your own self that you want to put on YouTube channel. And people will, will come to you and say, hey, that's a great YouTube channel you have there. Uh, you should do more. And uh, yeah. They'll always ask you for more videos. So that's what I'm doing. That's essentially what I'm doing. Putting out more videos. And I'll put out great titles, great uh, thumbnail videos. I'll do what I need to do to get myself out there. Uh, you know, there's going to be uh, next generation to next generation of YouTubers. And just climbing for their attention out there. So I'll be doing what I'll be doing. And you guys will be doing what I would I want to do. So... It's a life lesson. They call it the life lesson of YouTubers out there. We're just learning. We're all learning. And it's a, it's a community of YouTubers out there. Just basically that. A community of YouTubers out there. And users. They're users of YouTube. And they're a community of people in there. And they want to put out their content. They're, all they want to do is put out content for you to see and share and like. That's what they're trying to do. Put out the videos that they like. They share and comment on. And that's what they're bas basically what users try to do. Uh, that you want to share. If you uh, need a platform to share your videos out there on you on any platform, it would be YouTube. To share your own videos, your content, and uh, have people see your videos a lot. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, basically, that's the uh, narrative here. Um, so I'll be doing the B-roll. I'll be doing B-roll footage. And that's my tips. That's my tips of doing B-roll footage. And uh, this is, these are videos about B-roll footage. No question about it. So, yep, there you go.